It's Mrs. Singley. Hi, first graders. Today we're talking about the economy again, and our topic is supply and demand. This is an important topic during pandemic time because some items have been on demand and our supply has been low. So here comes the first question for you. Let's start with demand. The definition of demand is how badly people want a good or a service. Remember, is a good is something you buy. A synonym or a word that means the same thing is order or need. Here's a sentence. The demand for toilet paper has been high. And here's a picture of toilet paper. I have a question for you. Can you think of some items that have been in high demand during the pandemic? And why have they been in high demand? Okay. I have also come up with some ideas for what was in high demand during this pandemic. Well, this has been one of them. This has been a hot commodity, toilet paper, and many paper products like tissue and also paper towels. But cleaning supplies have also been in high demand, so things that help keep you safe by killing the germs and like wipes. This has also been a hot commodity. It's hand sanitizer that you spray to kill the germs on your hand. So sometimes people panic and overbuy and sometimes things are just really needed to keep us safe so they're in high demand and the supply is hard to find. On to the next question. Here's your next question. What toys in the past have been in high demand? What made the toy in high demand? Discuss with some family members. Here is one item that has been in high demand and some of you may even have bought this or received it as a gift. It's a Nintendo Switch. That's one toy that's been in high demand. Here's another toy that has been in high demand. LLL Surprise. Have you had one of these? Some grown-ups have these. These have also been in high demand. They go in your ears. They're AirPods. Now, why have these items been in high demand? Well, sometimes high demand is because they're so popular. And when one person talks about it and shares about it, another person wants to go buy it. And it causes more and more people to want the item. Well, we've talked about demand. Let's talk about supply. Supply is the amount of goods available. Remember, goods are the things you buy. A synonym of supply, a word that means the same thing, is stock and provision. Here's a sentence. That store has many art supplies. And here's a picture of a store loaded with all kinds of supplies. Well, now it's your turn. This is a supply and demand worksheet. The directions say make a list of items that have been in high demand or low demand during the pandemic. You can use some of the items that I showed you earlier in this video. Then down at the bottom, it says, I believe, 
and you fill in the blank, you could say toilet paper. I believe toilet paper has been in high demand because people feel they need it. Next, I believe blank has been in low demand because I can't wait to hear your answers and see how you filled in the chart.